Nope. Okay, got a little something in the mail today, <clears throat> and I haven't been up long. Also, I'm having to shoot this on my other camera because my high-definition camera is out of juice and I've lost the USB lead for it. It's around somewhere, I'll have to have a look for it later, but let's take a look at what we've got in here. Now, I know what's in here, but let's just open it up, hopefully not cutting into anything important. And here we are, my USB video capture device. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and install this on my computer. So, I can connect cameras like this one up to it. And I can do live streaming from it. Well, hopefully anyway. And this has only cost me about a five or so. It's no big loss if it doesn't work. But, let's give it a try. It is made in China, so after about a year or two of use, it'll probably just fall apart. Alright, well, the software's installed. Got a new icon on my desktop. So, a product key? It didn't tell me anything about a product key. I'll probably not bother with that anyway. Let's just, um, let's see if we can bring it up in virtual dub. So, I've got a capture AVI. Okay, we've got one here called OEM service, so I'm going to assume that's what this is. And any second we should see a picture. Okay, well I don't know what that was all about, but anyway, I've entered the product key for the software that came with it. And we have the picture from this camera. If I could just figure out how to get out of the menu on this thing, um, just press menu. Yeah, that's gone. So what I want to do now is I'm going to see if I can get this running in Open Broadcaster without it blue screening or anything like it did in Virtual Dub, and I'll be back. Well, it's taken me about a billion gazillion years to figure out how to do this, but I finally got the camera in. Yeah, got this thing working in Open Broadcast, and now all I need to do is make the picture fill the screen, like this, and ta-da! Right, well, I'm just going to do a little recording test in Open Broadcaster and see what we get. Alright, so here we are, recording directly from the security camera thingy. I'm using my microphone to capture sound. My face is in absolutely terrible shape, so I'm not going to show that on the screen today, but I'm just going to pan this camera around, hopefully. So I'm knocking the microphone about a bit. But, as you can see, as you can plainly see, where I got it working. Now, so the audio might be a bit loud at the moment, I haven't got my levels sorted out. Anyway, I'm going to do a little experiment now and try to capture from this thing again in virtual dub, and if it blue screens again, well, at least we'll know it works with Open Broadcast. We know it works in Open Broadcaster. We know it works on this home thing. Let's try virtual dub again. Maybe it was because I didn't put the product key in. It did that. It's always a possibility. So I try again, in virtual dub. Nope. Well, I think that pretty much confirms that. This thing is not going to work on virtual dub. But it does work with Open Broadcaster, and that's what's important. Anyway, I'm going to do a little experiment here. Now, I've got this switch here. And I've got one side of the switch connected to this camera that I'm holding at the moment. And the other end of the switch is connected to this camera here. So I can switch between the two video sources on the fly. Now, before anybody says anything, yes, I know this is possibly the absolute worst way you could ever switch between video sources. I mean, it's going to look a bit bleh, you know, while I switch between the two sources. but. 
I just want to do an experiment to see how well this will work. Now, let's just get this camera focused so we can see what we're doing. I've also got the image deinterlacing on, so it's not going to look all liney and horrible like it was earlier. I also noticed that I had the picture zoomed in a bit too much, so it's now filling the actual proper 4x3 area. So, I'm going to flip the switch over to the other camera, and let's see how well this works. Alright, so, this is the picture from the other camera. This is the picture from the JVC... Ha no, it's not Handycam, is it? Well, pic this is the picture from the JVC camcorder. So, I'm going to switch back and forth between the two cameras. I'm going to put this one right up close to the switch. So while I switch it, you can you can see that this is the camera. My train of thought is gone. So this is camera one, blurry camera one. There we go. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. So, it looks like I'm going to be using this thing for doing my YouTube live streams, which is rather warm right now, actually. Guess that's why they put that vent there. But that'll probably be sometime in the new year, because you know, I'm kind of busy with Christmas and everything. I mean, as of now, the time recording this video, it is the 23rd of December. And now my bench isn't actually that bad, it's just some paint that got splattered on there that this camera seems to be enhancing somehow. Anyway, I guess that's it for now, so until next time, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next live stream. And what the hell is that light that keeps coming on? It's this thing, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't even know that had a light on it. Okay, well, don't know why it's doing that, but anyway, until next time, goodbye. Also, I'm having to use this on my Chevrolet camera.